Howdy everybody. Welcome to Cooking with Chef Fletch. This week, the birthday special for my middle daughter. She loves strawberry shortcake. This time, I'm doing a strawberry shortcake cheesecake. I hope she enjoys. Alright guys, so where do we start on a strawberry shortcake cheesecake? I guess the first thing, we're going to go ahead and do our shortcake. So I've got two cups of all-purpose flour in my bowl. To that I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder, <coughs> a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, three-fourths a teaspoon of salt, and we're just going to take why I whisk real fast and just kind of whisk that together, get it all combined. And then to that we are going to add a cup and a half of heavy, heavy, da, 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 a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. And we'll get that whisk till it, just until it's combined. Get all the flour incorporated. All right, guys. Next, we're gonna just take that batter and we're gonna go ahead and put it in our spring form pan and just get it in there and get it pressed down. Guys, this is gonna go, I've already preheated our oven to 400, and 400 degrees, and it's gonna cook for about 18 to 20 minutes. All right, guys, while we've got the shortcake cooking in the oven, we're gonna go and just take a pound of strawberries, cut the top off. We're just gonna cut them into slices and throw them in this bowl. So we'll get these sliced up. To that we're going to add five tablespoons of granulated sugar and then we'll just set those strawberries off to the side. We'll use them in a little bit. Alright guys, we've got our cheesecake out the oven. We've got it taken out of our spring form pan and set on a wire rack. We're just going to set that off to the side. We've also got our strawberries that we sliced up, mixed with sugar. And I set those off to the side as well for now. So our next step, guys, is we had another pound of strawberries. We had cut the tops off of, of them off. We're gonna get them put in our food processor and get them pureed. So we'll just get those in there and we'll get them pureed in our food processor. spatula and scrape down the side so we get all those pieces that flew up on the side back down in that puree and we'll get it finished. All right guys so that puree strawberries we're going to take it and pour it into a medium saucepan that we've got on our burner on medium high heat, or I'm sorry, on medium heat. To that, we're gonna add two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. And we're going to cook this, stirring it constantly, because we don't want it to burn. Just until it gets thickened up, it's gonna take about five to 10 minutes. All right guys, once it's thickened up, you wanna go ahead and turn your heat down to low, and you just wanna let it simmer for another minute or two, and then we'll take it and put it in a bowl, set it off to the side, and let it, allow it to cool. Next step, guys, we're gonna take two tablespoons of cold water, put it in a bowl, 
we're gonna take a package of unsweetened gelatin and add to the water. We're just gonna let that set for about five minutes, guys. All right, guys, that gelatin is set for five minutes. We're actually gonna heat it in the microwave at 10 second intervals, stirring after each turn, just until it gets smooth. All right, guys, so it took about 30 seconds. Start after each time. We're gonna add that to our strawberry mixture that we made earlier. And we're gonna stir that until it's smooth and then we'll set this aside again. Now we've got 24 ounces of cream cheese in a mixing bowl. Just gonna take our electric mixer. Just gonna beat this cream cheese. I'm gonna beat it till it's nice and smooth. We're gonna take about a third of our strawberry mixture and mix it in. And then we'll do some more blending, just to get it incorporated. All right, take another, about another third of it. And get that mixed up. All right, guys, we'll take that last bit of that strawberry mixture, pour it in there. We'll get that mixed up. So, forgot to mention this earlier, guys. One of the reasons why I'm doing this on this particular day, this past Sunday, was my middle daughter's birthday. Growing up, she loved strawberry shortcake. So, asked her if there was anything she wanted me to do for her video for her birthday, and she said strawberry shortcake cheesecake. I guess she's all grown up now and she wanted an upscale version of strawberry shortcake. So we'll get this last bit mixed up and then we'll move on to our next step, guys. Get that nice and smooth. Go and scrape down the sides, make sure we get it all in there and we'll do one more beat real fast after I scrape down the sides. Let's try to scrape out those beaters a little bit too. And then we'll give it one more beat. So guys, I was about to move on to my next step and I realized I never added the sugar to this cream cheese. So we're gonna go ahead and hopefully this works out. I adding it at the end, it was supposed to be mixed in with the cream cheese before you did all the strawberry and everything. But we'll just see how it works out. So I got half a cup of granulated sugar Let's just take our blender and get that blended into it. And we'll go ahead and get that set off to the side. We've got one more blending to do, so we'll go ahead and put some um, more heads on the electric mixer. We are going to add one and a quarter cup of heavy cream. three-fourths of a cup of powdered sugar and a half a teaspoon of vanilla and we're gonna just blend this until firm peaks all right guys we've got our whipped cream into stiff peaks we're just gonna take about half of this and fold it into the strawberry mixture. Just gently fold. Don't want to overwork it. And then we'll go ahead and take the other half and get it folded in as well. Just want to fold it in in two separate parts just to make sure you get it better incorporated. Get the second half in there and fold it in as well. All right, guys, 
Time to assemble it to, into a strawberry shortcake cheesecake. So first of all, we're gonna take our shortcake that we made earlier. And don't know how well it's gonna work out, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half. It didn't, it wasn't as thick as I thought it was gonna be, but we're going to cut it in half and do the best we can. If yours is too thin and you don't want to cut it in half, you just want to do one layer, that's fine too. But we're going to get this cut in half and turn it as it goes so I can keep cutting. I'm not sure how well it's going to work out because like I said, it did not go as thick as I wanted. Let's take one half. It's going to fall apart on me a little bit, I can tell, but that's all right. Get one half. We'll get it put cut side up into the pan. It kind of fell apart on me, so we'll just make the best of it that we can. Fill in those holes. Try to get it all along the bottom of the pan, just like that, guys, as best we can. Then we're going to take our strawberries that we sliced earlier. Just going to layer. Move this so you can see. With the strawberries. Just going to take the strawberries and layer them on top. Just going all the way around. And throw several in there and just Kind of sing, put them in a single layer as best you can. Just spread them out there. All right. Just like that. Then we'll take our strawberry cream cheese mixture. Take about a third of it. Or I'm sorry, not a third. Take about half of it. Put it on top. Uh, that should be about half. Spread that over it. And we'll just spread that evenly. Then we'll take our other half of our shortcake. See if we can do a better job of getting this one up without it falling apart on us. Set it right on top. Again, cut side up. That one came out a little easier. And again, we'll just take some of our strawberries. Just spread them across the top of it. Try to get them in a single layer. Just like that, guys. I'm going to take the rest of our cream cheese. Our, our, our cheesecake mixture. And put it on top. My wife's laughing at me, I'm not sure why. Just spread that out, guys. Might have needed a bigger springform pan for this. Almost got too much here. Maybe that's why my wife was laughing at me, because she thought it was gonna overflow. And I'm gonna actually go and drain the juice off the rest of these strawberries real fast. We'll take this last bit of strawberries and we'll just lay them across the top. Guys, and we'll go ahead and cover it up with some plastic wrap. Throw it in our fridge. It's gonna refrigerate. In this case, because as you can see, it's already dark out. I'm gonna let it refrigerate overnight, but if you got more time in the day, 
You just want to let it refrigerate for four or five hours, then it'll be ready to eat. Guys, apparently my wife's phone that I was recording on, it died on me, so I don't know how much of that last bit y'all got. But we're gonna go ahead and get this refrigerated. And guys, I'm not gonna get to taste it because it's dark outside. <coughs> and unfortunately I gotta go to work tomorrow. And by the time y'all see this video, I won't have had time to cut into it. But I'm gonna take it over to my daughter's house tomorrow night for her birthday. Like I said, her birthday was Sunday, but I know she's gonna want some of this. In the comments, guys, I'll let y'all know how it tasted. Until then, remember, cooking should be fun, so have fun with it. See y'all later. Okay then, happy birthday. Belated a little bit, but I hope you enjoy this. Everybody else, if y'all enjoyed it, hit that like button, share it with all your friends, send me a comment, and if you hadn't, go ahead and subscribe to our videos. Until next time, see y'all later.